Hi everyone, it's been a while, but I am back and I wanted to film an unboxing of this really cool thing that I saw Artbox publish. And I think it's a really fun idea as a Valentine's Day gift for someone. I don't think they're available on the website anymore because I think it was just for Valentine's Day. But what they did, I'm gonna look at my phone so I make sure I get it right. They offered four different types of boxes for Valentine's Day that you could order. Each had a theme. So one was Acrylic Sweetheart, Paint Lover, Inky Crush, and Mixed Media Muse. So first of all, I love the names. Second of all, Art Snacks. I have always really liked the idea of the company. Each box is $10 and then you pay shipping and you get a box of art supplies come to your door every month. I got it as a gift a couple of years ago from my brother and I really love it because I'm someone who's been doing this for a while so I have accumulated a lot of different art supplies. Plus I also have access to a bunch of different art supply stores around me so anytime I wanna try something out, I just go to the store and I pick out whatever I want and usually I drop a little, usually I drop about a small fortune on new art supplies, but we're not gonna talk about that. But Art Snacks is really cool, I think, for a beginner who's trying to experiment with different styles and different art supplies without having to break the bank. Uh, whenever you try new art supplies, I mean, it's not cheap. So being able to get a box for $10, I think that that's a really great investment. I think it was a really great idea for them to release something like this. And I was under the impression that they like put together these boxes according to the theme. And because they were only $10, I figured it would only be the amount of things that they would put in a typical box. So the order came to $40 with $8.85 shipping. So I paid a total of $48.85 for the whole thing. And I thought that is such a good gift to give someone, even if it's just one box. Though I don't know if I would get the box with like $8 shipping because that's almost, you know, as much as an actual box. Uh, so I paid about $50 for it and I wanted to do the unboxing on my channel, which I really want to be able to get back to again. As you can kind of see from what I have, um, my office has changed a lot and I'm starting to actually draw again. So like that's a big change for a drawing channel. Uh, so let's get to the unboxing and then I'll give you my final thoughts on it after. Here is the package that it came in and I ordered all four. I'm gonna grab my scissors here. I haven't done this in such a long time and I think I finally got a setup down which is kind of funny. And here we go. Okay, so we have one. So I can't really distinguish which one is which just like this. Looks like all of them look the same. Just four boxes here. This one's a little heavier than the other ones. And then the packing slip. Oh, oh it says on here exactly what they are. So in the order summary, you can see what the kits are. So it really looks like they just took the kits from that specific month and packed them up. So I have the August 2020 kit, the November 19 kit, the October 20 kit, and the September 19 kit. I'm sure we have like a pamphlet or something inside the boxes to show us exactly which one is which. So I am hoping they're not just recycled boxes. Ignore this, I was doing some uh, makeup swatching before. I'm hoping they didn't just put all of the, like they just recycled the boxes. I thought that they put together separate kits. So I don't know, let's do them one at a time then. So we have this first one. All right, so the first thing we have is Indian ink, which is great. You can never have too much of this. I don't use it very often though, so I don't know. Uh, I don't like to read these before I get into it. So this is October. Yeah, it says that there's October in here. 
and then like a little bit of each thing. So we get two stickers. I love these little stickers because I think they're super clever. I love their logo design for Art Snacks. Of course, it's a pretzel. So one has little ghosts on them. Let's see if you can, there you go. One has little ghosts on them. And the other one has this really pretty leaf pattern. Can you see that? Well, focus, focused. All right, so we have the two stickers. We have the India ink. We got a Dum Dum. And put the box to the side. They all come wrapped in some tissue paper. So it's still a surprise until the very end. Okay, so this, <laughs> okay, I am going to need to look at the guide sheet for it because I don't even know how this opens or closes. Okay, oh, okay, so we see a pen nib. I am hoping, assuming that this is what this is and it probably goes with the India ink. So that's nice. I actually don't have any nibbed pens, so that's a good addition. We have the Plumchester paint marker in a purple. We have an ink brush. Oh, okay, so this one has to be the inking one because of course it's October so they probably released this for Inktober and there's another sticker <laughs> okay so we have three of our little stickers there and then we have a Windsor Newton blue fine liner okay so yeah we have the Windsor Newton fine liner I have this I have like I'm gonna reach over here I have these, I love them. I think they're really good for inking. I've never been a fan of microns, so I think those are a really good substitute if you're looking at some inking pens. So yeah, this is definitely a an inking focused box. So this must be the ink one. So according to the pamphlet here, we have the paint marker, we have the ink brush, which is this one. It's combined. This brush pen is filled with highly transparent, intense watercolor ink that flows smoothly from fine synthetic bristles. I am too intimidated to try this one. So this is a good example of a product that like, I would never have picked up on my own, but now that I have it, hey, I can try it out. The Windsor Newton Fine Liner, which is this one, and then the Indian ink. It says it's a staff favorite and the Speedball Standard Pen Nib Holder and number 512 Pen Nib. So that's pretty cool. So yeah, that is everything. I'm gonna keep it all in one box. This is definitely the inking one. I really love that I have three of these now. Now this is a random one, another random of the four. Okay. So this is from September. It doesn't say what year, so it could be either 2019 or 2020 and it's on the packing slip, I don't wanna look. It's an Airheads pop for the candy. And then we have a Dollar Rowney Aquafine watercolor ink in lemon yellow. We have a blue sticker, two blue stickers. Ooh, super cool. Okay, so we have a Crink Acrylic Paint Marker. I really hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. I, let me see. Oh, I use Molotov. So I actually haven't seen this brand before. And then we have, ooh, a Le Pen. I love these. Let me see if I can reach over here and find one. I bought like a 10 pack of these at Paper Source one year and I love them for writing and for inking. This is, let's see, it's an oriental blue. And I love midliners, if only for the aesthetic of it. I have a few that I use in my pencil case for my planners because I love using them for highlighting certain dates. And this one is in a pink and it's a brush pen. So it's double-sided, you have your regular nib, which is super fine, and then you have the brush nib. And of course, in two very lovely colors. 
And then we have a brush. I want, maybe this is the mixed media one. So this is the Snap Filbert number eight brush. So these are the bristles on there. Very nice. Oh, another sticker. And this is, no, oh, like a pixel camouflage one. So I'm gonna put that to the side. Put that over here. So we have the Crink K11 acrylic paint marker made in Brooklyn. Then we have the Zebra Midliner double-ended brush pens. That's this. Princeton Snap Series brush filbert. Ideal for watercolor and acrylic. And then we have the Le Pen Flex. And we have the watercolor ink. I am going to guess that this one is the watercolor one, if not the mixed media box. Oh, uh, I have one of these already, but not in this blue. This is a Liquitex soft body acrylic in brilliant blue. It's really pretty. I have, I think I got one of these in one of my boxes one year, and I think it was red. Then we have the OG Art Snacks sticker, a gradient one, a Crybaby Extra Sour Bubblegum. I feel like I had those when I was a kid. Uh, I'm having a tough time. <laughs> this is embarrassing. Okay. So here we have another sticker. So they just like jam packed a bunch of stickers in here. Let's see, we have the Zebra Brush Pen. In, oh, it's a metallic brush and it's water resistant. Let's see what the nib looks like. Ooh, very nice. The metallic blue. Then we also have the Echo Pigment in the nib 5.5. I love Faber Castell. They never let me down. I would never go for a color, um, for this color, if I was just buying art supplies on my own. So I think I kind of win with this one. And then we have the Princeton Velvet Touch Flat Shader. I don't think I have a brush like this, so that's also a win. So this has only four items in it. Let's see if that's, okay. Uh, so we have the soft body acrylic. We have the Princeton brush in 3950. It's a synthetic brush. We have the pigment pen, which is this one. Sketching or writing, it's very good. And it's waterproof. And then the zebra metallic brush pen. Maybe this is the mixed media one. Okay, I got it. All right, very difficult. Still struggling. All right, <laughs> this is August, so this is my birth month, so that's pretty cool. Won't look at what's in there yet. We have another ghost sticker. We have ooh, one with little flowers on it. Smarties, which is one of my favorite candies, so I'm very happy about that. I'll actually eat that one. Probably give the other ones to my husband. Ooh. Here's our third sticker. I think it's just like a cute little aesthetic sticker. I can't really tell what it is, it's just colorful. Then we have the Golden Open Slow Drying Acrylics. This is the Sap Green Hue. I have never tried an art supply like this. I am way too intimidated to start acrylics, so this one I'm probably gonna give to my friend. Then we have Ink Tense Hot Red. Oh, I'm not sure what this is. And then we have the Finesse King Art Filbert. So this is, it looks like another flat brush. And the Derwent Graphic HB Pencil. You can't ever go wrong with an HB pencil. And then I think I have this pen. It's really good. I'm pretty sure you can find this on jet pens. All right, 
So we have here the slow drying acrylic paint. And then we have an ink tense colored pencil. Oh yeah, you can definitely tell. It looks a lot softer than Prismacolor, which is crazy. I've never seen softer unless you're actually looking at pastels, so that's fun. And then we have the King Art Finesse Kalinsky Sable Synthetic Blend Brush in Filbert size six. And then we have the Guritake Zig Hike Food Foodie Pen. That must be this one. It's a staff favorite and it's a brush pen. Very nice. And then we have the graphic pencil in HB. So that's cool. I'm gonna put everything in the boxes. All right, so that's all four of the Art Snacks Valentine's Day boxes. We just finished unboxing and I am a little surprised that they didn't change anything inside the box in terms of the months. Um, so we got the cards for each box that came from each month. Thankfully, uh, the three boxes that I already have don't have any of the stuff that um, I saw in any of these boxes, so that was really good. But that may have been something to disclose, I think. Um, that you were actually getting like previous boxes. I'm, I'm sure each box has a theme, which makes a lot of sense. Like the October one was ink, which makes a lot of sense with Inktober. Um, I cannot guess which one is which. So I'm thinking the, I'm gonna look at my phone again to make sure. The Acrylic Sweetheart must have been this, this box, which is the August box because it actually had like acrylic in it. And then the paint lover must have been the one with the soft body acrylic. The ink and crush is October and the mixed media muse must have been this one with the paint and the brushes and all of that. It's a little difficult to tell what theme went with each box. So I don't think that's a very good sign. I have art snack stickers for a good amount of time. I think they're really cute, so that's really fun. Um, and always the candy is a cute little touch. Um, I would say I wish that they would get together boxes based on the themes and make them new because this seems a little like they didn't sell these boxes and they have a store, so they sell all previous month's boxes at the store. So if you, there's one you really want, you can get it there. But I don't think they sold these which is why we're able to get them in this way. I think it's a cute idea for someone who's never had art snacks before and again, who's a beginner. But if someone has subscribed to the box before, like if I was subscribed already and then I ordered these boxes and they're just repeat boxes of things I've gotten before, I would be a little, ooh. Uh, I don't think every box has the same amount of art supplies in terms of like the colors are probably different and that kind of thing so even if you did get like the november box you would get like a different uh acrylic or a different color pen um or even like this watercolor ink it would be different so um these are really good art supplies i don't know if i'll ever use some of them things like the faber castell pigment pen. I've never gone for a color like this, like I said, so this is going to be really cool to have. But I probably won't use this slow drying acrylic and probably not the soft body acrylic either. Um, yeah, and then I would challenge myself to actually use the ink and the nib because Indian ink is so awesome and I've never used a nib pen before. So like, that'll be cool to do. Was it worth it? For me, I think so. Uh, because I'm just gonna give some of this stuff away to some of my friends who are also artsy and would definitely use these supplies. So that'll be a nice little thing. Uh, and for only $10, I mean, you're getting all this stuff for $40 for all of them. 
Uh, I think that this was a really cute idea. I definitely see that they could improve it by actually putting together boxes and not recycling old ones if they even just took the boxes apart and mixed together different ones and maybe, I don't know, sell the box for $12 instead of 10 and maybe have like one more art supply in there or whatever. I think that would definitely be a good thing to do. I would definitely buy it again. Uh, but if you're already an Art Snack subscriber, I don't know if you would have enjoyed something like this. So um, yeah, it's nice to be back and I'm hoping to post some more stuff about the things that I get and the things that I'm drawing. Um, I recently moved some stuff around in my office, surprise, surprise, and being able to uh, be here is a nice change. Um, I always feel like the feng shui of my office is off. So I always need to move things around. So thank you and um, tell me what you think. Tell me what you think about the video. Tell me what you think if you would have bought this, uh, if this is something you would want to buy in the future, if you think this was a cute idea or if you think that this just wasn't something that you ever would have been interested in. I would love to hear it and I look forward to seeing all you guys more. Okay, I'll see you later. Bye!